My name is Peter Christian, and I am a storyteller. I already had right brain tendencies when I left my sleepy hometown of Rapid City, South Dakota to join the Army in 1996. I had been drawing since I was in junior high school and also had the opportunity to be in a couple of local B-grade films, but it was my experience helping to design a costume for a scene in the 1993 Lynn Productions film, Escape Through Time, that ignited a flame for production that would burn in my heart until this very day. Life wasn't in my favor as a teenager, as I was forced to drop out of high school, get a GED, and join the Army. My military leadership quickly identified my artistic skills, and though I was a mechanic, I was constantly being tasked by my commanding officers to create art for everything from t-shirts and murals to unit patches. At the advice of my wife, Angelina, who saw the potential of what I could do based on my constant requests by superiors for my artwork, I left the service and pursued a degree in digital visual media at Expression College of the Digital Arts with a special focus on motion capture and compositing. So I moved my family to South Dakota to work for my old high school buddies at Lynn Productions, where I had the opportunity to do work for national level clients such as MTV, ABC, Country Music Television, The Discovery Channel, a and &E Biography, and Disney. All of this experience served to help me establish myself as a professional in my field. But it wasn't until I found myself back in the military again after the 2008 U.S. economic crash that I really found my feet for who I am as a filmmaker. I experienced what it meant to be a soldier in a war zone in Afghanistan in 2012 which honed my mentality as a leader, yet solidified my compassion for people as well. However, it was how the military dealt with my wife, who had been blown up twice in Iraq, and how difficult it was to get her needs taken care of by those who were so willing to send her to war that really cemented within my mind the stories that I wanted to tell, the stories that I needed to tell. As a result, when I left the active service in 2013 for the National Guard, I retrained to become a broadcast journalist. This allowed me to pour my heart and soul into telling the stories about my brethren that needed to be told, to ensure that like minds were able to convene on this important subject for the benefit of those who could not speak up for themselves. I found my niche as a military videographer because of the regulations that the military placed on me for my stories. By military mandate, I was required to tell the unbiased truth exactly as it is. Unlike my civilian journalism counterparts, I was not permitted to spin anything in any way. And that is exactly the way I want my stories to be told. Now I'm retired from the military and pursuing a degree in cinematography at Full Sail University that I aim to use toward a career in teaching. I aim to pass on the compassion that I have learned to the next generation of storytellers.